Hey guys, and welcome to my Treasure Isles Trader Guide. This guide will detail everything you need to know about the Treasure Isle traders, including where to find them, what they sell, and a trick on how to make their stocks change without needing to find another trader. I had some requests to make this guide after my 1000 Soul Trap opening video, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, Treasure Isle traders are NPC merchants that sell various items for Glim, and there is also a shadowy trader that sells items for Flux. Their wares include mounts, allies, sales, and the Treasure Isle recipes. You can access the Treasure Isle traders when you reach power rank 550 and can enter Uber 3. They are located only within the Drowned World's portals and can be found within the Treasure Isle's biomes, indicated by a ship's wheel on the map. Once you are in the Treasure Isle biome, you are looking for a boat that has a sail with a picture of the NPC's face. The red face is the Glim Trader and the purple face is the Shadowy Trader. Treasure Isle Traders are great for leveling mastery as they sell Treasure Isle recipes which give 2 points each and there is a total of 66 recipes, not to mention the mounts and allies that they sell. They are also extremely good for making flux as you can purchase the ally soul traps and open them for a very nice profit. I'll have a video of what I received in 1000 soul traps in the description if you are curious about how to make flux with these soul traps. Now that you know everything about the traders, I have a little trick that can help speed up finding the exact items you need as the traders do not have a set inventory. So the trick is when you find a trader and they do not have the item you want, you can move away far enough until the ship is completely gone out of your view distance and then go back to the trader and their items will once again be randomized. Now I don't know if it applies to all view distance values, but I play with maxed out view distance and it is exactly when the ship is completely gone from my sight then I can return to the NPC. To take the method one step further, you can locate two ships that are far enough apart that the method works, and you can just go back and forth between them, speeding up the time it takes to find the items you want. And that is going to be it for this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.